Baltimore Mayor Catherine Pugh and Governor Larry Hogan appear to be making good on their promise to work together for the benefit of the city. Hogan has made several trips to Baltimore in the past seven days. WJZ is live at City Hall where political reporter Pat Warren looks at the building of this city-state alliance. Hi, Pat. Hi, Jessica. Governor Hogan has said that he and Mayor Catherine Pugh share a vision for the city. Mayor Catherine Pugh comes to City Hall as a Democrat and consensus builder. Republican Governor Larry Hogan, present at her inauguration, points to that. Maryland is stronger when our state and local leaders work together. And to our governor, I want you to know that you do have a partner. Days later, the mayor and governor shared a stage for a city-state neighborhood revitalization. We've made a lot of progress with, with this uh, project core, but I think together now we're going to really ramp it up together and get ramp things really moving. Ramp it up. The uh, two of them together look like they really do like each other. And, and that's a lot. And that's a lot of it, right? So being able to get along, being able to work towards common goals. Goucher uh, Field Politics Center thing. Director Malia Cromer sees common ground between the mayor and the governor, who also attended a toy giveaway together this weekend. They come from two different parties, but at the center of it, Catherine Pugh is somebody with a lot of business acumen, and Larry Hogan certainly somebody with a lot of business acumen, and they are both two in the, two politicians who are interested in building up economic development. They're interested in bringing jobs, and they're in, interested in bringing obviously prosperity to the city and the state. And putting political differences aside. Mayor Pugh and I have a shared vision for Baltimore. And that I've already prepared my letter for you to go with me to Washington, D.C. to deliver to the next president of these United States, Trump. A letter about investing in Baltimore, which as you see here, she delivered herself to the president-elect at the Army-Navy game. And to borrow a slogan from the Hogan campaign, Baltimore is open for business. I'm Pat Warren reporting live from City Hall. Now back to you, Jess. Okay, Pat, thank you. The 2017 Maryland legislative session starts January 11th.